G'day guys, Scotty Lyons here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. Today's segment is proudly brought to you by Shire Local Banking. Sean Griffiths, the CEO, and his family are coming out for a wonderful day and hopefully good mix of fishing on Botany Bay. Yes! 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 Oh. Yeah, but here comes the size. It doesn't matter, I've got the first one, you're Oh, there he is! It's a whopper. You want him out for you? Is he big enough? No, he's going to be big. No, he's all right. Pulling his rod underneath the boat. Who's fishing her? Is he pulling you in or are you pulling him out? He's pulling me in. Ah! He's pretty tired. Well, it's only just in his mouth. Okay, oh. net him. Net him, net him. Head first. Oh. <laughs> is he big enough? Oh, he's heavy as. Ah. 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 Nice job, boys. Hey, lovely little kingfish. Yeah. How about yeah. we put him back in the water, eh? Yeah. Yep. Righto. There you go. No, no, check his size Dad, first. Okay. Quick, check his size on him. No. Dyson, get out of the way. Yeah, mate, Dyson, move. Oh, Dad's taking a photo. Alright, give us a great period. Right, Scotty, how big is he? Right, I flick him in. And oh. Connor's got a nice kingfish on here. Look up this way, Connor. Keep going. Lift him up. Lift higher. Yeah, there he is. Keep coming up. Yes, sir. Only nothing I beat it. <laughs> King oh, of, yes, yeah, Connor. Too. No. Oh, you get to take How was that, Connor? Oh, good. Hey? Biggest fish you've ever caught? Yep. Well done, mate. Thanks. Nice well, kingfish. Sure we've had a fantastic morning out this morning with the boys. Sure caught some, uh, Caught some nice fish, a kingfish, and a couple of trevally. It was a lot of fun. Yep. Um, I'm sure Paul will come up with some great creation with one of the fish we've caught. So you've been involved with uh, the Shire Local Banking for quite a while now? Yeah, I've been the CEO there for three years and worked for them for ten. Right. Uh, some big news recently, we've decided we're going to have a merge with IMB, which is great news for us and great news for our customers and IMB. Right, okay. Uh, it means all of our staff will, will retain their, their jobs with IMB, but gives us an opportunity to do a lot more things in the community than we can now, which okay. is a good thing. That sounds good, and obviously you know, we'll have some new product for people to, to look into through the, yeah. the banking scene. We will, yeah. Look, IMB is one of the bigger mutual banks around, uh, top five, so they've got some resources that we'll be able to use. Uh, our expertise will come on board with them, so our customers will only benefit with a wider range of products if it's for small business or homeowners or whoever it happens to be. Okay, so what about the branches in the, in the local area? Are they going to remain the same? Yeah, they will. You'll see the, you'll see the same people when you go into the branches. All of our Shire local banking branches will be retained, uh, okay. the four we've got. So um, IMB have got three in the Sutherland Shire as well. Just gives us a broader catchment, I suppose, and, and more branch options for our customers and for IMBs when the two systems come together. Okay, sounds really good. Well, we're moving forward, I suppose, with that, and um, uh, it'd be uh, some interesting times ahead for you guys. Yeah, there will be. I think it, it gives us an opportunity to do more in the community. The Shire Local Bank has got a good reputation for doing things, you know, as well as the banking. We, you know, we're in the schools, uh, teaching kids to paint. We're an artist in residence program. You know about our small business yeah. program where we, we sponsor and get on board and, and promote our small businesses. So if we're able to expand that through the Illawarra and through Sydney and throw a few more dollars at it as well, plus the sponsorship side of things, it's, uh, it's good news for everyone. Okay, sounds really good. Excellent. Thanks, Scotty. Cheers, mate. Well, we've had a fantastic morning out on Botany Bay. Did you boys enjoy that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Great yeah. day, Scotty. Great day. Good time, wasn't it, eh? Yeah. yeah. Got some beautiful fish, a lovely kingfish here, and a couple of trevally. Let's see what the cook can come up with, eh? Yeah. So it's time to slice the kingfish. A good sharp knife always helps, and basically what we do is we take a long strokes all the way through, and occasionally you have to give the knife a wipe, otherwise the protein from the fish dulls the edge. So, usually after about three or four cuts, just long, nice strokes. As 
So I'm just going to plate this on my board. What actually cures this kingfish is the lime juice, the citric acid. So I'm going to take the juice of one lime and squeeze it into the bowl. Now I'm going to add some olive oil. So this is a very, very simple dressing. So probably around about two thirds oil to lime juice. Now we just need to add some salt and pepper. So we're going to add our pepper first. Now we're just going to add some salt. Beautiful sea salt, it's fantastic. And a teaspoonful of sugar. Just cast the sugar, any white sugar is good. Just going to dissolve that now. So I'll just give it a good stir. So what I'm going to do now is garnish the kingfish with some of these special ingredients that I'm going to show you. So what I did a little bit earlier, I took some limes and oranges and I segmented them into small little cubes. So basically what we've got there is we've got some sweetness, some sour, I want a little bit of saltiness from the row. And this is going to be like a, a flavour explosion in your mouth. Okay, so this is the salmon row. It's really nice and salty. And I always like to leave a little bit of salt just on the side of the board in case people want a little bit more salt. So now it's time to dress. Carefully put the citrus on. And I like to just move it around from different pieces to so they get these different explosions in your mouth from sweetness, sour, salty. So we just mix it up. You don't have to be worried about it too much because you just never know what they're going to get. So the next thing I'm going to add is a little bit of eschalot, not too much, and some spring onion. Some radish. Then I'm just going to top with a little bit of sorrel. Now just to get a nice shine on them, just dip that into the dressing. So now I'm just going to semi-cure with our dressing of lime, olive oil and sugar. So there it is, citrus cured kingfish. Pretty little dish, I hope you enjoyed that. Well, special thanks guys to all our partners who joined us and I hope you guys enjoyed these clips. And don't forget to join us every week here at The Hook and The Cook and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And we'll see you every Friday here at The Hook and The Cook. Cheers guys.